Uh, hello, welcome to this video. Uh, my name is Gu Yanwu. Here I will introduce our new work, Randomized Linear Gate Set Tomography. Uh, this work was done when I was a postdoc at uh, CQT and uh, UNS College. And uh, you can find the full article of this work uh, on archive. Uh, this work is a simpler alternative to standard gate set tomography. Gate set tomography or GST uh, is a method to simultaneously characterize a set of noisy gates. Uh, before introducing GST, uh, let's start from uh, quantum process tomography first because it's the basis of GST and uh, it's also the usual method to characterize a noisy process or gate. Uh, doing process tomography, we need to run a set of circuits. Uh, these circuits have particular structures. Uh, it starts from a set of uh, states and ends with a set of measurements. In the middle, we perform the gate of interest. Uh, we run these circuits and uh, measure the probabilities of outcomes, and uh, we can construct a set of linear equations. With linear way method or optimization algorithm, we can get an estimator of the uh, gate. But here uh, there, is, there is a problem uh, because the, the set of state and the measurements are also prepared by noisy gates. This noisy gates could be equally noisy as a gate of interest. This is a so-called spam errors. Uh, in order to solve the problem of spam errors, the gate set tomography uh, is introduced. GST was first introduced by IBM team in this paper. Uh, the idea is that instead of characterize a particular gate, they simultaneously characterize a set of noisy gates. Uh, the circuits used in GST is quite similar as those in process tomography. Here, this preparation fiducial and uh, mayor fiducial are some short sequence of gates from the gate state. This fiducial sequence combined with the default initial state and the default final measurement uh, can produce uh, a set of states and uh, measurements to extract information about the gate of interest. Uh, in the middle, we need to iteratively perform all the gates in the gate state. For data processing, we can still use linear invariant inverser or optimization algorithm to get an estimator of the gate state. However, uh, in the early version of GST, only short circuits are used, so the accuracy of estimation is quite limited. In 2017, in this paper, Rubin Bloom cohort uh, further developed uh, GST and uh, used non tomographic circuits such that they can achieve more accurate estimation. Uh, the procedures are shown in this figure. It's from this paper. Uh, the circuits used here uh, are still quite similar as those in process tomography, uh, but in the middle, they perform not only the individual gate, but uh, in the cases, but also some sh uh, short sequence of gates, uh, which they call germs. Uh, these germs are also repeated uh, to amplify errors. For data processing, they perform a series of optimization iteratively. Uh, in this way, they can achieve very accurate uh, es estimation of gate state. But there are two drawbacks. One is that the circuit design is complicated, um, especially for the uh, design of germs. Uh, another one is that this uh, series of optimization is highly nonlinear. It's very hard to attain the optimum. It's very time consuming. Uh, in order to solve the two drawbacks, we introduce our randomized linear gate set tomography. Uh, in our randomized linear gate set tomography, we uniform randomly sample gates to compose 
uh, circuits. Uh, so it's a design-free method. And for data processing, we first use a linear approximation uh, of noisy circuits uh, to convert the nonlinear problem to linear problem. And uh, finally, we give a linear invariant estimator. And I will introduce more about uh, the linear approximation. Uh, each noisy operation can be written as uh, the, as a combination of ideal operation uh, with uh, a noisy process. Uh, this noisy process can be written as a sum of identity map plus a pure error map. Uh, the norms of these pure error maps should be small for current devices. Uh, we use uh, epsilon as a book, uh, bookkeeping parameter. For noisy circuits with L gates, the probability of outcomes can be expanded as uh, the sum of terms with different uh, order of noise strings, uh, the epsilon. Here we just keep the terms up to the first order and uh, we drop the higher order terms. Uh, this approximation is valid if L times epsilon is much smaller than 1. Uh, we need to run um, a set of random circuits and uh, measure the probabilities uh, of, uh, of the outcomes uh, such that we can construct a set of uh, linear equations. Here, the p tilde is a column of uh, probabilities of uh, noisy circuits, and the p is uh, the corresponding uh, probabilities of ideal circuits. Uh, e is a column of uh, noise parameters that we want to estimate. The C matrix is uh, referred as the design matrix, which is to, uh, totally determined by ideal circuits. And the C matrix is always a singular matrix because uh, some columns of C are always linear dependent. This is a consequence uh, of the so-called uh, uh, gauge degree freedom combined with uh, our linear approximation. This gauge degree freedom also occurs in the standard GST, but I will not talk about uh, gauge degree freedom uh, here. If you are interested, please read uh, the full article. Uh, so uh, here we use a pseudo inverse of C, uh, which is generated by the singular value decomposition of C. Uh, finally, we can get uh, this uh, linear invariant estimator. Uh, to illustrate our method, uh, we will carry out uh, some uh, simulated, simulated experiments uh, for single qubit gate state and uh, two qubit gate state. We also apply our method uh, to categorize the noise in some five qubit devices from IBM quantum experience. We compare the performance of our method uh, with the uh, performance of standard GST. Uh, we start from an incomplete gate state, poly XYZ. Uh, an incomplete gate state means that uh, we cannot sense all aspects of the gate noise, but it doesn't matter here uh, because we seek only to predict uh, the probabilities of outcomes uh, of the circuits, uh, which is built from the same gate state. Uh, these inaccessible noise parameters play the role. This figure shows the prediction errors for three sets of noise parameters with uh, different uh, noise strings. Uh, the prediction error is defined as the trace distance between our estimate uh, about uh, the probabilities and uh, the true values. Uh, for these three sets of noise parameters, the prediction errors are small. Uh, in, this, in this case of the uh, incomplete case, we do not compare with standard GST because it, it uh, does not accommodate uh, such a situation. Uh, another simulated example uh, is a complete gate state, identity gate, Hanuma gate, and a T gate. Uh, here, this uh, blue 
blue and uh, green line are results from standard GST with uh, CP TP condition and uh, TP condition imposed in a transition algorithm. CP means uh, completely positive, TP means trace preserving. For our RIL GST estimator, uh, it's uh, uh, trace preserving but not completely positive. We also try different random circuits in our method with uh, very length or fixed length. This red line, LGST, is a case that uh, uh, we use the circuits from standard GST, but uh, in data processing, we use this linear approximation. Um, in order to compare this case uh, fairly, we try to keep the resource cost for each case as close as possible. Uh, you can find that the performance of our RL GST is very close to the performance of GST. It's just uh, slightly worse, but you need to know that the time cost of our procedure is much less than GST. Uh, for one run of the procedure, our RL GST just took one second, but for GST, it took uh, 30 seconds. The last exam similar example is a two qubit gate state. Here, the performance of our method is still close to the performance of GST. The prediction errors differ more only for longer circuits. This is a direct consequence of our linear approximation. Uh, in this case, the time cost advantage of our method is more pronounced. For one run of the procedure, GST uh, took about uh, 35 minutes, but for our RIO GST, it just took 12 seconds. Uh, finally, we apply our method to characterize the noise in the 5 qubit devices from IBM Quantum Experience. Uh, here, we firstly characterize a single qubit gate for each of the qubit. Uh, then we use this characterize the single qubit gates to characterize two qubit uh, gate, two qubit gates. Uh, this is almost like uh, process tomography uh, for two qubit gates. Uh, uh, finally, we estimate uh, the outcome probabilities of five qubit test circuits. Uh, uh, in this case, uh, the performance of our method is uh, still close to the uh, still close to the performance of GST. Uh, this is a summary of our work. Uh, here we provide a much simpler alternative to GST by using randomized circuits and a linear noise approximation in data processing. Uh, our method is spam error free. It's directly inherited from GST. Uh, compared to standard GST, our method is easy to implement because there is no complicated uh, circuit design in our method. Uh, our method also takes much less computational time compared to standard GST because we do not perform optimization algorithm. We just use linear invariant estimator. Uh, our procedure can be done on the fly. Uh, lastly, even though we use some, uh, we use a linear uh, noise approximation, the performance of our method is still comparable to GST. This is shown by simulated examples and uh, the experiments on IBM devices. Uh, finally, I would like to thank the co-authors of the work, uh, Professor Enhui Kun, Mr. Rajesh Mishra, uh, who is a research assistant, and uh, Professor Berg Englert. Mm, uh, that's all, and uh, thank you for watching this video.